Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at solving simultaneous equation by elimination. Okay, so over here we've got two equations, 8n plus 4n is equal to 104, and 8n plus 2n is equal to 134. What we're looking for is um, a value of m and a value of n that works in this equation and this equation as well. So, to get started, what we're going to do is just going to label this first equation, equation 1. and the second equation, equation 2. Okay, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take equation um, 2 away from equation 1. So 8m take away 8m gives us 0m. 4n take away 2n gives us 2n. And then we've got 104 take away 134 and that gives us a negative 30. Okay. Um, in order to work out what n is now, I need to divide both sides by 2, which tells me that n is going to be equal to negative 15. Okay, my next step is to work out what m is. So what I can now do is substitute this back into one of these equations over here. So I'm going to substitute it back into this top equation, equation 1. So subbing it into equation 1, I don't know what m is, so that's going to stay as 8m. Um, n is negative 15, so I'm going to add on plus 4 times negative 15. And we know that's going to be equal to 104. So that tells me that 8m, um, 4 times negative 15 is negative 60. So plus negative 60 is just going to be take away 60, and that equals 104. I can now add on 60 to both sides, so 8m is going to be equal to 164. And then finally I can divide both sides by 8, um, and m is going to be equal to, that's going to be 20.5. Now I've um, used um, the first equation to work out m over here. So now what I'm going to do, oh, so I'll just underline these and I'm going to um, use equation 2 um, to just check to see whether these solutions um, work. So um, 8m, because m is 20.5, that's going to be 8 times 20.5 plus 2 times negative 15. And I'm expecting this to be equal to 134 if I'm successful. So um, 8 times 20.5 is going to be 164. 2 times negative 15 is negative 30, so that's going to be take away 30. And that gives me 134, which shows me that these are both going to be correct. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.